Yes, and we've also just bought the Zuko Brothers. We're really happy with the way we've been treated so far at Universal. Yeah, they're so much different from all the other studios we've been at. Yes, but we don't want you thinking about other studios. In fact, we want you to forget there even are other studios. Forget. 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 Good. Good. Forget. That's right. Forget. Forget. But our new acquisitions are not only in the film world, we're also going multimedia. Say. What does that mean, multimedia? Well, for the answer to that question, let's go to New York City. Universal is steadily making its presence known in the Big Apple. Here at Universal Records, new bands and recording artists are signed every day. Here's the drummer from the hot new band, Goldfinger. Say, young whippersnapper, how would you like to be a part of the Universal MCA Corporation? Fuck you! Corporation bullshit, corporate whore, fuck. Ooh, that teen ink sells a lot of records for Universal. Give that man a wine cooler. What is this shit? Fuck you! We also have MCA records with rap stars like Heavy D. Golly, it sure is nifty to be a part of the Universal family. I mean, jeepers. Everybody here is just swell. <laughs> Golly willikers. How could I ever go anywhere else? Uh, I mean this. And now it's on to Nashville, where we've signed some of country's hottest performers, like Marty Stewart. I don't know how things could be any better here at Universal. They take such good care of us artists. Well, like, for instance, when my album went gold, I got this beautiful deer in the mail. But we don't stop there. Multimedia includes books, too. That's why Universal owns Putnam Berkeley, with best-selling authors like Robin Cook. Say, Robin, how does it feel to be with Universal? I love it. It's uh, probably the best thing that's happened to me. Here, have you seen my newest book? Pre-written in screenplay format. Saves a lot of time. Now my book can go directly to the movies, which is a real plus, because those executives who can't read can go see the cute little talking picture. Yes, Universal is busy making acquisitions all over the country in order to become a worldwide multimedia conglomerate of entertainment. Just ask Sylvester Stallone. Universal sure is buying a lot of stuff. Say, isn't that producer Barry Kemp? But say, what about the future? We can't just keep relying on existing talent. We have to be open to new talent. That's right, Barry Kemp. And ironically, that brings us to our final point. The last key to a modern studio is having an open-door policy. Say, what does that mean, open-door policy? It means anyone can share their ideas. This keeps our studio from becoming old and stupid. But where do we find new talent? You might be surprised at the answer. This is Pepe. Pepe has a great idea for a blockbuster hit movie involving two women and a lost dwarf. I'm just a janitor. Nobody wants to hear my ideas. Don't worry, Pepe. You work for Universal Studios, and here they welcome all ideas. And the two women and the dwarf live happily ever after. How do you like my idea, Mr. Executive? Write it all out, and I'm going to submit it to my development people right away, OK? Wow, really? Thank you. Oh, and uh, uh, Pepe, would you empty the trash for me, please? That's a good janitor, thank you. Sometimes crew members on film shoots are a source for ideas. I've been in this business for a long time, and I've always lived by one simple philosophy. Be nice to the little people. Good morning, guys. I brought pastries. Uh, because down the road of life, you simply never know who your boss is going to be. From the lowliest PA uh, to Pardon the... me, ma'am. Do you have anything else besides jelly? You'll eat what I give you to eat and be glad to have it. Uh, for instance, when I made clam bake with Elvis, uh, there was... Yes, an open-door policy allows us to find the newest, freshest ideas. Isn't that right, Mr. Stallone? You know, it's good to be open to new talent, because that way you're more open to new talent and stuff. So let's review our three modernizing techniques. One, being artist-friendly. Two, building that talent roster. 
and three, never say no to a sailor. Say, what does that mean? Never say no to a sailor. Yes, it's a whole new universal here. Mm. And because of all the great changes being made here, Ron and I have decided to stay. We're both making ourselves completely available and accessible for all the studio-related functions. Ron says things are great and he's fine. So now we're just one big happy family of movies, books, music, television, and liquor. People, people who need people. <coughs> yes, from all around the country, artists are starting to call Universal City Studios home. Universal City Studios, Ux. And with all of our new changes, no wonder everyone is saying, it sucks for me. It sucks for me. And how about you, Alan Hughes? Hey, it sucks for me, too. Yes, and it sucks for him, and it sucks for her, and it sucks for all of us. Gee, I had no idea Universal was making so many changes and stuff. By constantly changing, updating, and improving, we will never fall into the trap of becoming, well, you know. It's the dawning of a new day. And with our new regime, we're becoming the most modern studio we can be. Thank you. Okay, look, you're going to tell them I don't talk that way, right? I mean, this whole thing's been a gag to put on. I put the Rocky thing behind me. It's a character. You're going to work on that, right? You're going to tell them. I can... Sure, Brainiac. Here, have a wine cooler. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. See, that's a character thing. It's something I work on. Fucking cheap studio. Thank you. Goodbye.